My name is Misaki, and I work for a company. Recently, I married my boyfriend Zeke, and we're enjoying our newlywed life. On this particular day. Hey Misaki, do you think we could be on that show Newlyweds Welcome? Um, I'm not so sure about that. What, really? You don't want to? It seems like it would be a great memory. But they'd ask us all sorts of personal questions about how we met, and it would be broadcast nationwide. That would be super embarrassing, don't you think? Ah, that kind of embarrassment will be something to laugh about one day. But, I remember there was an episode where they followed up with the couples after they appeared on the show. That couple ended up breaking up. What, really? I didn't know that. And I heard there's a rumor that the divorce rate among newlyweds who appear on that show is pretty high. When I think about that, I hesitate to go on. Well, a rumor is just a rumor. But Misaki, you seem unusually well informed about this. Huh. Not really. I think it's just common knowledge. I see, this must be a guilty conscience. Uh, yes, I did look into it, thinking the same thing. This is Zeke. We've been living a simple but happy life without any major arguments. We're now preparing for our wedding. So, about this part, if it's okay with you, Zeke. Ah, uh, you don't have to check with me on every little detail. You can plan everything exactly the way you want, Misaki. Really? So if you took off your suit and appeared in a white tuxedo, saying, Misaki, I've come for you, while pulling out a rose, that would be fine. Okay, Misaki, maybe we should discuss things together a bit more. See, it was the right call to ask you after all. No, 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 I didn't know you wanted to do something that embarrassing. It's not embarrassing, it's cool, okay, let's go with that. Wait, wait, why do you want to see me in such an embarrassing situation so badly? Zeke didn't seem to have any strong opinions about the wedding details, so he generally let me have my way. Although the preparations were challenging, putting so much effort into every detail made me really look forward to the big day. And then, the day before the wedding. Ah, uh, tomorrow is finally the wedding day. I'm so excited I might not be able to sleep. Yeah, I know, it's really exciting. Hey Zeke, you haven't been listening to me at all. Are you not looking forward to the wedding, Zeke? Uh, no, no, of course I am. I worked hard on the preparations too, you know. Really? Well, if you say so. I couldn't help but notice that Zeke seemed a bit distracted whenever I talked to him. However, I decided not to let it bother me and ruin my mood. I thought it would be a waste to worry about it. And then, the day of the wedding. The day has finally come. This is our battle of Sakagahara. Haha, <laughs> I understand you're excited, but you don't have to compare it to a battle. When I think about what we're about to do, it naturally makes me feel alert and ready. In other words, we are warriors, proud samurai. I get that you're feeling alert, but try not to be too nervous, okay? I was relieved to see that Zeke had returned to his usual self after seeming a bit off yesterday. As the start time of the ceremony approached and I began to feel nervous, Zeke's phone rang, and he stepped outside to take the call. A little later, Zeke came back after finishing his call, but… Misaki, I'm sorry, I can't attend the wedding today. What? Something urgent came up. I have to leave right away, so just handle things on your own. Wait a minute. What do you mean? What's so important? Isn't this our battle of Sekigahara? This is no time for jokes. A friend called me. It's a critical situation that I need to attend to right away, so I'm leaving. A friend called you. We're about to have our wedding. Are you serious? Of course I am. It's a matter of life and death. If I don't get there immediately, it could be bad. Life and death. I don't understand. Who is this friend anyway? It's my ex-girlfriend Agnella. Apparently, her husband left her. She said he took the kids too. What? You're leaving our wedding to go to your ex-girlfriend? Yes, she can't live without me. She was crying and saying she wanted to disappear. I see. What's with that apathetic response? What if she does something drastic because I'm not there? Can you take responsibility for that? Well, even if you say that. I've kept this to myself, but I can't forget Agnella. Not for a single moment since we broke up. What? No matter what you say, I'm going. Agnella needs me, and I'm divorcing you. I'm going to remarry Agnella, so cancel today's wedding. I couldn't understand what was happening, and could only watch as Zeke left. In the end, Zeke never returned, and the wedding turned into a dinner party instead. The next day, Zeke, who hadn't contacted me at all, came back. Zeke, what was that about yesterday? Like I said before, I broke up with my ex-girlfriend, Agnella, three years ago, but she dumped me out of the blue. I honestly still had lingering feelings. Yeah, you said something similar yesterday. 
how could you be in such a state and still think about marrying me, only to bail on the wedding? When I proposed to you, I thought it would help me move on. I wanted to settle down and start a family. But after we got engaged, I ran into her by chance in town. And I couldn't stop thinking about her. So, was I just a second choice? No, it's not like that. I haven't seen her since then. And I was trying to forget about her because I married you. But you couldn't forget her. And when she called yesterday, you couldn't control yourself. Ugh. You do realize yesterday was our wedding day, right? You inconvenienced our guests and it was the worst possible time for you to disappear. I know. But she was in such a terrible situation. Her husband had racked up huge debts. So she had to work non-stop even after giving birth. That strained their relationship. And he took the kids and left her. But we are married, Zeke. Do you realize how many people you inconvenienced yesterday? Why do you keep talking about inconveniencing people? Agnella's life was at stake. She was forced into divorce by her in-laws and lost all hope in life. Forced into divorce, ugh yes, I understand that life is more important. As I said yesterday, I want a divorce. I'll pay around 500,000 yen as compensation, so contact me when you've made up your mind. I'll be staying at a hotel until then. Thank you. With that, Zeke quickly packed his things and left. I then hired a private investigator to look into the situation, and as expected, Zeke wasn't staying at a hotel, but was living with Agnella. So, I sued for infidelity damages and demanded 3 million yen. I declared that I would be happier than Zeke and got a divorce. A few years later, while I was eating at a food court in a shopping mall. Hey, I thought I recognized you. It's Misaki, isn't it? Long time no see. Ugh. What do you want? Oh, I just saw a familiar face and thought I'd say hi. I mean, seeing you eating alone here, you look pretty pathetic. Wait, is this your ex-wife? She looks even plainer than I imagined. Yes, yes, sorry for being so plain. Didn't you say you'd be happier than me after the divorce? Well, I've remarried Agnella and I'm super happy. Do you really think you can be happier than me sitting here in a food court? That's none of your business. Well, even pretending to be happy is tough for you. By the way, didn't you take a lot of money from us? You should be eating something better than food court fare if that's the case. It's hilarious. Well, we could be as happy in a food court as we would be in a fancy restaurant. Oops, sorry, it must be tough for a single person to hear this. Haha, <laughs> I'm really sorry for stealing your husband. No, I'm the one who's sorry for taking him from you. What? What are you talking about? What do you mean? Are you talking about our time together or something? I didn't think they would understand my meaning, but their incredibly bizarre responses were giving me a slight headache. Just then. Sorry to keep you waiting, Misaki. The line was pretty long, but I finally got our food. I got your pom-pom ring donuts, mama. Let me introduce you. This is my husband, Daiki, and our daughter, Sakura. What? Daiki and Sakura? Huh? Why is my old mom here? Huh? This looks like it's going to get ugly. What? What's going on? Daiki and Sakura used to be part of Agnella's family. So that's it. Hey, how dare you show your face in front of us? You made debts, took the kids, and ran away. I'll never forgive you. Misaki told me, but you really believe everything that woman says, don't you? What? Of course I believe my wife. Don't compare me to you. And Misaki, how could you marry someone like that? Are you out of your mind? Daddy didn't do anything wrong. What? So you brainwashed the kid, do? This is infuriating. No, that's not it. You're being deceived by my old mom. The real bad person isn't daddy, it's my old mom. No, I don't want to get mad at you, little girl. But you're only hearing what's convenient for your dad. No, the one who was good at that was my old mom. Heck, listen, I don't want to yell at a child. Could you just be quiet for a bit? Deke, calm down, let's just go. No way, this is a fateful encounter. I'm not leaving until he apologizes. I'll never forgive him. Daiki addressed Zeke who was visibly struggling between anger and reason. Just to clarify the facts, the reason for the divorce was Agnello's infidelity. That's a lie. Agnello would never do something like that. It's true. She neglected taking care of Sakura and was spending money on young men right after giving birth. Of course, during that time, she left Sakura with her parents and partied a lot. Stop talking nonsense. Do you really think I believe such lies? Besides, even now, Agnella is paying off the debts you racked up from your partying. I have no memory of making such debts. In fact, 
My company is doing well enough that we have some financial leeway. What? If you have financial leeway, why don't you pay off your own debts? Because there are no such debts. I mean, there are business loans from the bank, but I haven't incurred any debts from partying, and I didn't even have the time for that. What are you talking about? You're speaking as if you're the CEO or something. Oh, you didn't know. I'm the CEO of a startup I founded. CEO? A CEO of a startup would have debts from partying. Do you understand now? Daiki hasn't incurred any debts. If anyone has debts, it's Agnella. After all, she's been paying Daiki alimony for her infidelity every month. Every month? So, the money I've been giving her every month is for paying alimony. Hey, wait a minute. Why are you letting them control the narrative? I wouldn't do anything as frivolous as cheating. Come on, let's go. There's nothing good for us here. Stop changing the subject. Tell me that money is really being used to pay off debts, right? If it's true, there should be bank records or transfer details, some kind of proof, right? I can trust you, right? When Zeke confronted Agnella, she briefly lowered her eyes. Oh, this sucks. Everything was going so well. What? No way. So the story is true. Well, it's not exactly false. It's kind of the truth. Kind of. So, you've been deceiving me all this time. That's the kind of person she is. As long as things are good for her, she doesn't care about anyone else. And you've been used to pay off her debts. No way. So the money I've been giving her every month. Yes, it's been coming to us. Thanks for that. No, the money meant for Agnella has been going to Misaki. Because of you, we've been living quite comfortably. I'm very happy now. Are you happy? Don't be ridiculous. How could I be happy in this situation? Why do I have to be dragged into hell in a food court? That's your own fault. Oh, but thank you for letting go of Mama. Damn it, Agnella, you tricked me. You've ruined my life. Don't blame me for your own failures. Your life is a mess because of you. Take responsibility for your own life. Fine, then I'm divorcing you. From now on, I'll find real happiness. Divorce, you're not serious. Stop being pathetic. There's no such thing as true happiness, and you're miserable because you don't get that. You're just trying to sound profound to dodge responsibility. Looks like we can stop this now. Let's go. This has nothing to do with us anymore. Happiness comes from within. Goodbye. We quietly left, leaving the two of them to continue their argument. Zeke and Agnella continued their heated argument in the middle of the food court until security intervened. Even after they got home, they kept arguing about whether or not to break up. Eventually, Zeke consulted a lawyer and filed for divorce and alimony from Agnella. Having no one left to rely on, Agnella had to take out a loan to pay the alimony. On the other hand, Zeke became distrustful of people because of this incident. He couldn't bring himself to start a new relationship and distanced himself from close friends and family. As a result, Zeke ended up living lonely days without close relationships, while Agnella had to work tirelessly to pay off her debts. Meanwhile, my family. Oh, I smell something good. This sweet and savory aroma. Misaki, are you frying donuts? Didn't I mention earlier that I was making donuts? This shape, could it be pom-pom ring donuts? Sakura said she wanted to try them at home. And this must be sugar glaze, right? You said you liked the simple ones, Daiki. What's with you two? Oh, Mama, just play along a little longer. Yeah, Misaki. We were almost at the finale. Okay, go on then. Ahem. And this must be sugar glaze, right? From there. Well, you said you liked this one, Daiki. Yay! Today is Pom Pom Ring Donut Day. Woohoo! They're gonna be super chewy and crispy. Whoa. Both of you, don't start dancing in the kitchen. Since then, we've been living peaceful days. On this particular day, I was frying donuts at their request, but things got a bit strange. While I was frying the donuts, they started doing a weird dance behind me and began praying to some pom-pom ring donut god in the living room. It was getting a bit too much, and I thought it might disturb the neighbors, so I made them stop. And so, our family continued to enjoy our sweet donuts and look forward to many more happy days ahead. If you enjoyed this video, we'd be thrilled if you subscribed to our channel. Subscribing means you'll receive notifications for new videos, keeping you in the loop with all our latest content. Your support is vital to our growth. Let's enjoy and grow together.